Is it time to ditch Football Manager? Well, maybe, as we have a new kid on the block, a new sheriff in town, perhaps. We Are Football 2024 has just released. So this is a follow-up to We Are Football, which came out, I think, two years ago. I never had the chance to play that game, so super keen to dive into this and see what's different, what a different take on the Football Manager genre looks like. Now we see a few interesting features here on the main menu. There's an editor so we can get in there, fix any licensing, team name issues and things like that. There's also this option to simulate a single match multiple times. That's definitely something we'll be coming back to but for today we just want to have a first look at the game. So I'm going to start a new game here and, and see what it's like. Now you see here we've immediately got the option to go for men's football or women's football so that's a forthcoming thing with football manager it's already here in we are football now i'm just going to go ahead with uh, men's football for now now you see here there is a massive range of leagues available so this is made by a i believe it's a german software development a games development company so that's why you'll see austria has seven divisions and 83 clubs available if we go down here, I think we'll see Germany also eight tiers, 178 clubs available. Um, and Switzerland, I think, yeah, Switzerland goes down to four tiers. So um, interesting that um, England, we've still got four tiers, but obviously Sports Interactive being based in England, football manager developers, they go down to the sixth tier. Um, but elsewhere in Europe, they only go down three tiers, maybe four tiers. So interesting that there's a, a much more German focus on this one. All right, so we can have multiplayer on this. Obviously, just for now, it's just me here. Don't see anybody else around. So we'll just go for one player mode. Okay, so we get to set up a bit of a profile here. This whistle over here reminds me a bit of Mr. Clippy. All right, so I've filled that in. A couple of interesting things I've noticed here. There's this thing about level, and it says here you can select any manager level you've already reached at the start of the game. So I'm assuming that means if I play the game, I can up my level and then if I get to level five, I can start a new game from level five. There's also this thing about play with family feature. I'm going to activate that. I have had a little look behind the scenes of this. And you can have a spouse. You can have children. And then little life updates come from them during your managerial career as well. So that's the kind of thing sometimes people request for football manager about, you know, spending your salary and having your life outside football. So let's go ahead. We're going to set our nationality well, they've got a full range of nationalities here, so we could go Anguilla um, if we want, but we're going to go for England. All right, so I've given myself a wife and a couple of kids. Um, I can have a pet as well if I want. Um, there's quite a range. I mean, I never expected to come across this in a football management simulation. And then it's how do you want to play? So we can choose uh, which country we want to start in, any of those leagues that we loaded. And you see here a few options. We can select a club that we want to manage. We can create a club. We can go international and do the Euros or the World Cup. We can start a career. So interesting with these tournaments, it seems to be just a single thing. You you take charge of your national side, you set up the groups and you play the tournament and that's it, done and dusted. We might save that for a future video for now. Let's have a look at a career. I think that's what most of you would be interested in. And then we get this kind of scenario where we go through a questionnaire to see um, and it was going to suggest a club to us. This is the difference between the career or choosing a club. You see, I've got a bit of a time limit here. Uh, did you play football yourself? Uh, yes, but not as a professional. We'll go with that. Um, um, doesn't matter. What do you mean? Just because I wasn't professional doesn't mean I wasn't any good. What was your greatest success? Um, I, uh, I scored a goal. I did score goals back in my playing days. Not many, but I did. Ever been sent off? I know that's going to make me come across in the game as some kind of um, you know, easygoing character, and I like in these management games to be rough and aggressive. But, you know, I never got sent off in my playing days. Uh, back at school level or university level, never got sent off, never got booked. Either, Mr. Gary Lineker, that's me. How much experience do you have outside sports? Yeah, I worked for many years, too many years. Um, are you more a coach or a manager? Both. Let's go for both. What... Why do your employees like to work for you? I'm reliable and in a good mood. Open door policy. Mm, give my staff a lot of responsibility. <laughs> like the poor assistant manager. Just give all the duties to him. Staff want success. When that happens, they want to work harder. That's not the point. I'm not everybody's darling. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. 
Always reliable. There we go. How many player agents are there in Germany? That's probably 750, I would imagine, across all those seven or eight divisions that we've got to cope with. Um, are you afraid of flying? Um, flying is safer <laughs> than getting married. Oh, okay. Um, so I can only work in the second division. Uh, not before I've signed <laughs> my contract. Aha. Um, if we fly, we'll probably play internationally. Let's go with that. Have you ever been on TV before? I actually have. It's a story for another day, perhaps. Um, this is my kind of living room. I'm sure some of you have watched my YouTube videos on TV, so let's go with that. Why should a club hire me? I stand for honest football. Um, I'll develop a team. Yeah, I, I do like to do that. I stand for beautiful football. No, win at any cost. Uh, so they don't get angry later that they didn't do it when I was cheap to sign. Let's go with that one. How many corners does it take on average to score one goal? Um, there you go. I will go with that. It is, every corner gets a goal with my team. Why is the pitch circle at the penalty area needed? Um, only for penalty kicks so that a shooting player has enough space. I believe that's the answer. Okay. Interesting questions. So then it suggests three teams for me. Orbstadt. Never heard of them. Right, they are in the fourth division of German football. Nice screen, this, I have to say. I do like the look of it. Uh, Burghausen. They were also in the fourth division. Okay. Down here in the southeast of Germany, it would seem. All right. And then we've got Arlen. Arlen are also fourth division. Fourth division. Mm, it's not ugh, they're not gonna let me start out big are they so orbstat would like to sign me so we get the contract offers oh i see so orbstat make me an offer first and I, if i reject it i can look at the other clubs um or i can accept it so i'm going to accept this one um i would like to have the con oh so we've got some negotiation options here but let's just get into it let's get into it so welcome to orbstat that looks like berlin but okay you're still sleeping at the hotel all right let's take a look at the stadium Right. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm doing this with my mouse, so we can have a look around. Not a very big stadium, it has to be said, but okay. That's our Orbstadt Stadium. We can also have a look at the club training grounds. Nice, we've got some players out there already. They seem to be on segways, and we've got a nice, nice little uh, car park and some facilities, another training pitch over there. I guess that's our stadium in the distance. So, all right, I, I'm feeling at home here already. We wish you good luck in your job. You're going to need it. All right, so we're through to the home screen of the game now. So you can see my popularity with the board players and supporters. So we get all of that. We get some updates on training and so on. Okay, so this game, we've got weekly planner to go through here. So um, these are some tasks I need to do. I need to find some sponsors. I need... Oh, okay, interesting. I see. So things I need to do. So these are the kind of priority tasks, things I should do, and then things I could do with my time as well. So obviously, stadium sponsor. Yeah, we'll get that in here. Stadium name sponsor. That's fine. Get that in on Monday. We'll set the ticket prices as well. We'll get some updates on the season tickets. That's fine. Actively look for another sponsor. Stand name sponsor. Can we knock that over to Tuesday? I don't want to overload myself. And then ad board sponsors so i remember there were some games i used to play back in the day back in the 80s and 90s like football director where you could um enlist different sponsors and and things like that so it's kind of got those vibes but okay um fan department suggests a fan club visit oh now look down here it says hours i've used up 40 of 44 hours so i've got to keep an eye on my working week i mean obviously there's other things going on here training and so on so meet fan club let's do that friday okay ah a friendly yes can we get a friendly in for wednesday then um oh we'll do it friday after we've after we've met the fan club let's meet the fan club actually on thursday we'll get the friendly in for friday is that actually going to be the friendly or are we just going to sit down and have a meeting to organize it coach suggests a team event for improving grit now see that's going to put me over hours now can I move that? I can. I can move that over to the next week. So we're going to do that on Monday next week. All right. Good. Um, then they want me to hire a head of marketing. Preseason training camp. 
All right, let's uh, knock that over to next week as well. We want to get that organized. Charity event, and I should do some sport myself. Oh, hmm, interesting. So when I do some sport, I gain a couple of hours back. I guess I re-energize myself or something like that. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, head of marketing, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do all that next week. And then... Um, do a charity event. Okay, let's, let's get that in this week as well. All right, we'll keep ourselves busy. All right, we've got a busy week coming up. Now, here's our training planning. Okay, we've got here some options around season planning, rehearsing attacks, predefined week. Can we... Is there something here for pre-season training? I could have no training. Aggressiveness. I want, want my guys to be aggressive. Um, so let's go basic fitness. That's the most pre-season like thing for us to do. And okay, we move on. So set ticket prices for the season. We've got the fans are a bit mm, about the 15 euros. So let's have a look. Um, drop it to 14 or oh, 13. They like 13 euros. 13 is plenty, as they say. VIP boxes. We don't have any. We don't have any standing places. So. Uh, those will come later. Sponsor negotiation. Oh, so we get to negotiate with them, do we? So they want to give me 400,000 euros a year to have a sponsor name on the stadium. I want a bit more than that, I think. Let's go 460. 460, and we'll get our bonuses. Let's negotiate. Mm, they weren't happy about that. But let's go 440. They're still saying, they're saying 420. All right, we'll accept. Well, except we don't want to, you know, scare the sponsors away. Okay, we've got another sponsor negotiation here. Um, so this is for one of the stand names. All right, we want more than that for a stand name. So that, oh, they're happy. I should have asked for more. Okay, they'll pay 44000 a year for 10 years. Okay, probably should have looked at that. Okay, oh, life update. So um, I'm in a relationship with Katie. She seems to be approaching it tentatively. I thought we were already married and we got two kids. There's a charity event coming up. Uh, we'll see how that goes. My partner's filed for divorce. Literally just been in the been in the game for like three days. Well, bloody hell, that's not that's not that's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Here we go. We're planning our friendly now. So who are we going to play? I don't want to play Paderborn. They'll thrash us. Um, so. Teams from our division, we've got Feinsberg, Homburg, we've got Lubeck we could play as well. So, um, yeah, let's just go Oh, DB Leipzig instead of RB Leipzig. Let's pick DB Leipzig. DB Leipzig, so, okay, so that was to plan a friendly. So that was a, a, a kind of calendar slot to plan a friendly, and then we're going to get that friendly coming up uh, next week, I guess. Training progress. Okay, so we got a bit of an update on that. Looks decent. Uh, fitness, stamina's improved. Energy, of course, has gone down. So our match is coming up against DB Leipzig. Albstadt against DB Leipzig. I'm under pressure at home, obviously, with the divorce coming up. Let's have a look. What can we work on? Let's work on finishing. We want to score goals. We want to score goals in this game. So let's go for it. All right, so we've got that friendly coming up. Um, I've, I've done some jiggling around with that. We're going to do a youth screening day next week to try and bring in some new talents, but I think that's all settled. Let's go ahead and see if we can get to that match. So it says here, hold a boot camp. The players must survive in the wilderness for one day and one night. Do we give them any supplies? They learn how to catch fish. So I guess we don't, with a fishing basket distinguished between lethal and delicious mushrooms. And what to do in a zombie apocalypse? This is definitely a different kind of management game. All right, we get to select the place for the training camp. So a place where they can catch fish in a basket, uh, learn about wild mushrooms and survive a zombie apocalypse. We could go to Wales. Oh, there's lots of options here. Limerick would be nice. Belek. Oh, let's get ourselves off to Turkey. All right, we'll go to Belek. Nice. All right, so it's finally time for the friendly. Now, we can set up some tactics here. So it's defaulted to a 4-5-1. The general tactics, we can play defensive with long balls. What are our other options? Let's go with control defensive, perhaps. Or, yeah, control defensive. Let's go with that for now. I've just got a good feeling about it. 
Right, let's get into the match and see what the match engine is like in this. So here we go. We've got a bit of an option here. We can use some action points for our team talk. So what do we want to say? A normal standard speeches, a normal match that will play professionally. A bonus match, serious test. It's preseason friendly. Um, yeah, this is a friendly. We're going to try out lots of different things. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, we will go with that. We can do some, set some man-to-man -man marking. We can decide who our target man's going to be. So there's a few things that we can go at here. But let's just get into the game and see what it's like. We'll have time for those later. So we're getting an attack from Leipzig. This is our 3D match engine. That was a terrible effort. But we, we, yeah, our defender put it behind for a corner. So we're going to see that corner now. 19 minutes I have to see if I can speed this up slightly. It does seem a little bit slow. Safe hands from the keeper. Nice stuff. So let's see if we can uh, we can adjust the speed of these highlights a little bit. Attack by Obstat. Obstat, come on. Let's get a goal here now. This is much better. Much better pace. Let's have a look. It comes in and the header goes just wide. Well, it was cleared for a corner. But good effort from us. Good bit of pressure. Let's see. It does seem to freeze a bit before going to the next highlight. Let's see if we can score here from the corner. I do like our green shorts. They're definitely dazzling the opposition. But the keeper saved it. Is there no stand behind the goal? I thought when we looked at the stadium earlier, there was a stand behind the goal. We got another corner because, of course, the keeper saved that. Let's see if we can get the goal here. <laughs> What's with the image down there? The mist. Okay. That was probably an easy effort. Oh, counter-attack by DB Leipzig. We don't like this. Oh, so late in the half. Don't let them score now. Come on, clatter him, clatter him. He missed. And look, the goalkeeper was well out of position. How he missed that, I don't know. All right, so we get to half time. Team mood is ruthless. All right. Bit of extra motivation do I get. Okay, to get an advantage for the second half, you can have a specialist with more than 20 years of experience give an extra motivational speech to your team. Why am I organizing this at half time? That's what I want to know. But, okay, we can go for someone who's British or East Westphalian. Let's get a British person in. See what they can say. The British person, I don't know what they said, but okay, we got them in. We got them in. We can change our tactics a bit. We can have a bit of analysis. All right, maybe yeah, uh, that's fine. Um, maybe we'll make some substitutions later. Let's get into it. So we're straight into a highlight from DB Leipzig. I don't like the look. Oh, a defense splitter, but the keeper saved it. Good job there, safe hands. Been pretty even so far. We've got about 30 minutes left. I think some killer substitutions are going to do it for us here. Oh, and look, goal out of nothing from Leipzig. Goal out of nothing. Deary me, we're a goal down. Right. Oh, I was just about to make a substitution. We've already gone... I obviously put it up too fast. We've already gone to 83 minutes. I think my players are knackered now. And DB Leipzig are just running through us. And I just can't click on the substitute button at the moment. We, oh, oh, nice bit of skill there from Carl Ritter. But it was a poor cross. Right. I'm hovering here for the pause button. Can we... No, I couldn't hit it. I was trying to hit that pause button so I can make some substitutions. And we're now 3-0 down. Deary me. This is not going as planned at all. Right, I'm not going to bother with any substitutions now. But let's see if... Oof, straight at the keeper from Thin Ring. Thin Ring, come on. You can do better than that. Top bins, mate. That's what we're looking for. So it, it looks like... A defeat. I don't think we're going to make a comeback in stoppage time, scoring four goals. Don't concede another. All right, it was missed. Embarrassing miss for DB Leipzig, has to be said. But all right, not the most auspicious of starts for us. But okay, it was a preseason friendly. We, you know, that's fine. That's fine. But that is we are football. That's a look at the game. A little play through the you know start of a career if you like the look of this i mean i think there's a lot to get to grips with in this i need to kind of change my mindset from football manager and get stuck into this a little bit more but if this has caught your interest then do let me know 
if you want to have a, like one season playthrough uh, as featured on the channel, let me know in the comments. If you fancy getting this game for yourself, I do have an affiliate code. You'll find it in the description and in the pinned comment for We Are Football. Um, so check it out. A um, little bit of a, an alternative if you want to take a break from Football Manager by playing some more football management. Why not? Why not? We are football and we are done.